Disco. Okay, we are here for what is almost certainly going to be the end. If we've got about two hours left, that's about five hours my time, which is fine. Um, and I'm not going to stop until the end. We're not stopping. So, buckle in, everybody, and press and continue. Right, we have to go to an island. Can't stop discoing, never stop discoing. Especially, we will be discoing until the morning light, if necessary. <laughs> Strap in our buckle up. <laughs> Is he? Did I, did I say that wrong? <laughs> buckle in, guys. <laughs> God, well, it's one of those days. It is one of those days. The perfect day for disco. Right. Um, yeah, so we did everything. We were ready to just talk to Lillian and see if we can politely borrow her boat to go to this island. <laughs> she has a very old fashioned car. Manual buckling. Do. <laughs> Nothing to do with the bondage. <laughs> what do you mean manual buckling? Don't all cars? What cars have automatic buckling? <laughs> Why are we at the bondage already? <laughs> okay. Um, we just need to. Oh, we're rocking our. Is this a fedora? I didn't think this is what a fedora is. <laughs> We're rocking our safari hat. <laughs> Encyclopedia, right. So we could rock our cool clothes or we could rock useful clothes. So we're gonna do perception. Composure pants are good. I feel like I should keep my armor on indefinitely. Actually, we might need suggestion for Lillian. Look at, like, how can she resist this? Look at us. I think you need suggestion for her. Will her. Don't tell me we have to win Officer, that. Officer, what happened? Win that You're old limping. check. Why are you limping? You look terrible. Babe, I got shot in the leg. So actually, can anyone... Did we actually get our, some of our dick blown off or not? <laughs> Babe. <laughs> I'm getting into character. Um, some people hurt me. I got shot in the foot. It was pretty badass. You would have liked it. <laughs> I'm saying it. Is this from the shooting in town? We heard gunshots. Not that we don't hear gunshots all the time, but they were closer than usual. There was an exchange of fire on the Rue de saint Guilaine. It's nothing to be worried about. Madame. Nothing to be worried about. I'm gonna be fine. Don't stress your pretty little head. <laughs> um, you don't know if it was directly addressed at this point. It was definitely not far from it if not yeah because like kim didn't tell us when we asked him what's the damage basically we got shot in the thigh but also the hip but also potentially the dick i don't know <laughs> i feel like we would be more hurt i feel like that's not something that you could get through with our hospital visit Those bullet shots seemed near. I worry about my safety. <laughs> no, don't worry. I am fine. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> you should see the other guys. Two dead, one in the hospital. Wait, what? Did they not all die? I thought they all died. What? So you're a killer. That's good, I guess. I guess. Better than being dead. Oh god, we're traumatizing her. Scoff in a masculine manner. 
Oh, I was a killer. I'm gonna say most cops are killers. Aye. I bet they are. The good ones, at least. Yeah, like me. You think Carly died in the hospital? Oh, that's right. There was like, um, didn't he say that one of them got to intensive care? That makes sense. But didn't, yeah, didn't pull. F oh no, but was that one of the Hardys? I'm not sure right now. Um, I have a question for you. Of course. Can yeah, I we help you with something. We can't do the day. Um, we need to get to that island. That won't be a problem. It's wind still and the tar just dried. Oh, perfect. We've got two days of relative sunshine ahead. Oh, lovely. What? Two days of sunshine? I just got a bacterial infection. What's that got to do with anything? <laughs> Siberius, welcome. Caught he was a scab leader. Yeah, the one we shot in the cheek. So he, he held out right until he got to the hospital. Two days. Plenty of time for a date. <laughs> yes. What is... Uh, yeah, I'm going to ask what is on the island. I saw some kind of ruins through the binoculars. Hmm. Used to be some kind of fortification there before the war. For the communards. An anti-aircraft gun, I think. Bombed to bits in the landing. I haven't been there myself. Always steered clear of it. Are you coming with us or are we just borrowing your boat? That we will 100% return safely. Hasn't been there herself. Who has then? Ooh. If you haven't been yourself, then who has? My husband used to drink there. Oh. Him and his drinking buddies. Always seemed like a bad place to drink to me. Hmm. People died there during the landing, you know. My mother told me. Never go to strange islands to drink. We have learned this in other games too. This must be one of the many fortifications that was used in the dying days of the revolution against coalition forces before they took this city. The kids sometimes go there too. I know they do, on rafts. I tell them not to, but they bring back old bullet casings and such. I hope it's not your kids. They are not safe enough to go on a raft across the sea. What the hell? The twins. Oh my god. God forbid they bring the girl along on some rickety barge. Oh my god, have you got no control of your kids? Don't, this is how they die. This is how kids die. They're too stupid to even have a conversation. <laughs> they are three, they sail. <laughs> I think the twins might be four. I think the girl's three. So they have a whole extra year of sailing training. <laughs> Oh god. Always go to strange islands to drink. Best, safest idea. Never results in demons or space time issues. Never has happened before in the world. It's okay, she can always make more kids. <laughs> can we maybe ask your twins about that place before we go? I thought Would was, that be alright? I thought we were saying, like, can we take them with us for a tour? Be my guest. They have a strange way of talking. See if you can get anything useful out of them. I seldom do. She's got no faith in the ability to talk to her kids, but she, she'll watch them sail across the sea. That's the worst parenting I've ever heard. Right. Can, no, two days of... Right, yeah, okay, we're going to say I just got bacterial infection. I'm sad to hear that. Take care of that with ether, will you? Don't get too many RCM men round here. We sad to lose the first one. We're not gonna die. That's cool. You boast in your bacterial infection like that. <laughs> That's cool. She was so impressed by our bacterial infection. How badass are we? <laughs> can we borrow your children for a dangerous boat trip to see if we can find a murderer? I'm sure she wouldn't mind, you know. It's safer than just letting them go on their own. <laughs> Can we borrow your board? If you promise to bring it back. And no scraping the hull. I just got it nice and yellow. 
and no drinking on the boat. And no joyriding either. Well, I can half promise we'll bring it back. I can't promise that we won't scrape the hull. I always scrape the boats. We won't drink on the boat, I can promise that, but we might joyride. Of course, ma'am. It's only for a day or two. Official police business. Or three. Aye. What if I want to rock? <laughs> Not along attentively. The crow's feet disappear from the corners of her eyes as she smiles at you. Okay, um... Physical instrument is now also into unhealthy organs, <laughs> yes! <laughs> um, exactly how do you not scratch it? When you pull it up to land, there's no way to avoid it. Oh, I always miss the disco option. <laughs> okay. You shouldn't be nodding, you're hardcore! <laughs> Oh god, uh, is there anything else I should know about getting there? Well, most of it's sunken. Underwater. That means concrete underwater. Cut your boat if you're not careful. Be sure to enter from the south side. Water's deep there. South side, got it. Aye aye, Captain. Aye aye, Captain. Thank you, we'll use your skiff to get there then. Please be conservative with the fuel, will you? Just filled her up, but it's a small tank. I might siphon some, but I won't tell you that. Okay. So we're gonna ask the twins and then we're gonna go. They didn't care about my gunshot wound. Don't I look like a red cowboy? The scruffy-haired little boy kicks a stone while the other watches him do it. Um, I was going to try and say that word, but I don't know how you say it. <laughs> Can I suggest doing something that a lot of people miss, but it's quite interesting? It's a little backseatery. Oh, I don't know. I, I wish it was something what I just did. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Is it before we go to the island? Or is it after? Or have I already like, do you know that I've already missed, um, that I'm not going to do it? Um, hi, Alpha. Before the island. I am curious. Ask the location where there is something interactable and see if you want to go there. Yeah, is it, where is it? About. That's a good idea. Okay, okay. Um, the scruffy haired little boy kicks a stone while the other watches him do it. Oh, yeah, he's just read this. Okay, kids, you've been to the island, right? On that island. Oh, my God. I can't believe that they've been on their own to this island. Yeah, that's the one. I need to know what's there. That's um, nothing. It's just a seaport and some plants. You can take a raft there. It's great. Oh my god. And and we make a fire. We make a we make a fire. Oh my god! Of course. Of course they do. They make fire. <laughs> what else would they do? Mm hmm Gather the sticks for the fire and bullets. Or oh, not real bullets, empty bullets. Okay, seems safe. If you put live bullets on a fire, will they not explode? <laughs> and just shoot. Like, don't you even not need a gun? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think live bullets do not enjoy fire. Oh my god, this gets worse and worse and worse. Bullet shells. There are a lot of them left over from the war, but this could be important. You mean shells? I don't know what they are. 
Can you show me? Have you got any? There are lights. The fire guy comes and asks us to put the fire out. Here's the fire guy. This might be what we need. They must mean a human being on that island, but it's cut off. Someone lives there? No. Yes. <laughs> Let's go with yes. <laughs> I like these kids. Why is he the fire guy? Because, because, because he asks to put the fire out. Lillian's other twin is so much more helpful than Lillian's twin. Why does he ask you to put the fire out? Um, I don't know. He doesn't like it. He don't like people to be there. You shouldn't go. Ooh, now I'm super intrigued though. Who is this? Yes. Okay. You mentioned something about lights. I... I don't know. Did you mean there are electrical lights? Um, yes. Okay. Um, is, oh god, is there anything else you can tell me about this guy? Age? Does he live there? They're gonna know, aren't they? No, he doesn't live there. I don't think. Oh, you're so cute! No, he lives there. Been there twice, two times. Oh! Uh, he doesn't live there. He isn't there sometimes. Anything else? What does this guy look like? I don't know. Oh, how come? Oh, is he wearing like a mask? We, we ran. Oh. He just yelled, we shouldn't be there. Oh, they're so cute. They made me want to cry. Um, Did she even name these children or did she give up? Because they are busy getting drowned and set on fire at the same time. And shot. Don't forget shot. <laughs> She's surprised that they lived this long. <laughs> Um, the thing you're talking about is by the boardwalk. You already interacted with it several times, but for the thing to happen, it takes patience. It's kind of hidden. Alright, I'll head back. Yeah, it's not very far away, is it? I'll head to the boardwalk. Have fun, sassy! I will see you on the other side. Have fun! I think I just said have fun twice. I don't know. But goodbye! <laughs> Um, that sounds very sneaky. Time for some high level detectiving. Yes. Okay. Your father used to go to that island too, didn't he? Our father killed himself. Oh, damn. Don't say that. He didn't. His brother punches him. Oh, he's gonna cry. I don't remember if he did or not. I don't think he did, did he? He just got in and went... I'm not going to say anything. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, how precious are these kids? Is that all you know? Is there anything more you can tell us about the island? There's a... Oh, there's a... Oh. No intention of finishing the sentence. Lights, fire guy. We should check up on that island. We really should. But before that... Wait, let's just check this... The sister again. She speaks better than they do. Even though she's younger. Time to set a fire to summon fire guy. Sounds good. Hello, mister. Okay. Bye. Bye! But I'm trying to think what we've interacted with many times on the boardwalk. The phone? I bet it's the phone. Do we need to make some prank calls? It's 
twins can be weird. I have twin cousins. They almost kind of develop their own communication between themselves and weren't very understandable to other people. Isn't that fascinating? That's cool. I also have twin cousins. And my dad is also a twin. I imagine it's like... Yeah, it's... It's something you can't really imagine having a twin. You pick up the handset. There's a tone. The machine is operable. You're a twin? Do you have like a communication with your twin? You think it comes from spending literally all your time with one person while so young? Yeah, it makes it like it really makes sense. Um Twin conspiracy. <laughs> okay, let's dial a random number. Calling. I'm tired. Sounds like he hasn't talked to anyone in quite a while. Um, what are you tired of? Writing. I hate writing so much. But I have to get back to it. The man disappears with a sigh. Oh. You do not hear the customary disconnect tone. Uh oh. Just silence in the handset. The machine is still waiting for you to dial a number. What? Ghost? Seems like it did not have time to swallow the coin. This sometimes happens. Lucky you. The call went too fast for the payphone to register. You can still make a new oh, one without okay. Pay. Just a faulty payphone. Okay. Dial a random number with your eyes closed. You close your eyes and put your index finger on the rotary dial. Then pull down on the number. Then move one up. And repeat the motion. Twice. Strange. This is not how you started before. What do you mean, this is not how I started before? Did I almost get a one- was that a one-two or something? Oh my god. I would have cried. It's interfacing, because I'm pretty sure Morel's check was interfacing as well. God, thank goodness we had the 97 then. <laughs> Almost failed to dial a random number. How do you fail that? Like you accidentally dial a number that you know? <laughs> That's quite funny. Um, you can see the dice one plus two. Oh, I, I don't look. I forget to look. <laughs> um... This, yeah, this would require Noob to pay attention. I always miss it. I only see it if I'm specifically looking for it. And I always forget. I mostly just react to the colour. Yeah, exactly. Noob too busy being excited or disappointed on whether it's green or red. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dice. One plus two. Oh, how have I gotten through the whole game and not realised that if you hover over it, it tells you your dice? That's cool. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't know that that was there. <laughs> Though. Okay, right. Wait, what did I just do? You dialed 001. This is not the area code of Rivershaw. It is another destination on another Isola. Some far-off nation-state. <laughs> Siberia's, yep, that's me. <laughs> 005 is Revishol, ZOC. 001 is Grad, on the Grad Isola, where the telephone was invented. The next two digits you dial are the area code for the city of Mirova. Okay. 414447. The rotary dial feels cold from the sea air. One one, one seven, three six one. Your fingers keep moving like a spider, 
Every time the ring rotates back with a little ring of metal, like a bell tolling. There's more? Yes. 451 67 451. You are going deeper now, into some unknown place, far away from this island of matter and its telecommunication networks. This is a lot of numbers. Finish it. 451. You have dialed God knows how many numbers. Lots of The headset five, one. has been waiting silently to relay a signal. Surely nothing can come of this, you think. But it does. A connection. An ultra long distance call. Your air fills with a crackle. The wash of a strange ocean full of white noise. A little bird starts ringing in there. Not like the local calling tone before. No. A small ring in a cage of distortion, far away, a distant network of phones, calling, calling in the night. Pitiful and terrifying, you feel your pulse rise with each ring, oh. calling still, ringing by the bedside of a dark but capacious apartment with long windows. You know this to be true. The handset starts slipping from your sweaty palm. Your breathing is heavy. Long windows, how do I know that? You just do. And you know it is going to hurt. Kim? The lieutenant is too far away to hear your yelp. The sea wind blows. I don't want to hang it up. Oh, I've got, I've got so many volition. Oh, I'm not wearing the clothes. Hold on. Let it call more. Calling. 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 Calling still. Then the ocean breaks. Out of the depths, a woman's voice emerges, small, the dearest thing you've ever heard. Hello? We got through? Oh my god, I was like, we're stuck here forever. <laughs> there was no options. Hello? Mm. Who is that? Who is this? Is this our ex? Dora, who is this? The connection is bad. Dora. In the distorted distance, you hear someone turning next to her. Bed springs rattle. Don't react. Whatever you do, don't react to that last thing. Don't react. I trust my volition. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you react or not, you still think you hear a man's voice in the background. It's covered in pain and white noise. Uh, I don't want to say I want to die. Your voice is so beautiful. I want to proceed though as well. No, no. It's you, isn't it? It's you. Who? 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 Oh, I can say, I don't know why I said that. Your voice makes me want to turn into dust or I want to live with you. Oh, um. <sighs> is that you? I mean, it's me. This is too much. You need to recede. A creature is a creature. I wish I was the wind. Oh no, not this. What time is it? Oh god. I don't want to say goodbye in case it does hang up. I'm gonna say... 
<laughs> oh god, I'm a revolutionary servant of humanity. I will free mankind and abolish the classes. I will raise the dead. You're not a revolutionary, Harry. You're drunk. I am not drunk. You only have two, maybe three things left to say before the change runs out. Okay. I'm not drunk, I'm high. I'm not drunk or high, I'm just hurt. Why does it hurt to talk to you? Oh god. Oh no. Um. I don't want to say nothing if we're running out of time. Are you there? Do you know what time it is? It's so late here. Why are you so obsessed with the time? I'm running out of time. It's four o'clock, Harry. I need to wake up in two hours. Um. Oh. Uh. No, I'm not gonna ask. Do you want a party? I'm not gonna ask. Where? Because we know that. Where are you going in two hours? Mm. It's probably not going to tell us. You sound like you know me. What do you want to talk about that we haven't talked about already? This is bad. You feel your right hand on the handset cramping up with pain. Okay, at least it's not our left hand, which might mean we're having a heart attack. Oh, no. <laughs> no, it's... We're not having a heart attack. It's the wrong arm. Do I ask if there's some... Yeah, is someone there with you? Yes. I'll just say yes. Elaborate, please. <laughs> My head hurts. I'm going to have a heart attack. Oh, no. Please stop. Please, let's just hang up. I am the law. I'm a detective. I'm doing a case. There's a hanged man. She does not answer anymore. I'm gonna solve it. Harry. Disconnect tone. The machine ran out of money. Oh boy. I bet she's not going to answer. You dial the number again. 26 pulls of the rotary dial. The machine eats the coin and a terrifying ocean of distance rustles in your ear. Could we not have put more money in to extend the call? In the middle of it, a familiar ring. Small, distorted. Calling, calling, put it down. Let it call. Calling, 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 calling. It looks like she doesn't want to pick it up, Harry. Stop scaring her. Why? Come on, you know why. I don't know why, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, Volition's like, this is a bad idea, stop. Uh, let it ring. Calling, calling. Harry, please. Underneath it, she is naked and warm under a blanket. Oh my god, I'm not... <laughs> You're naked, aren't you? Um... I need to know who you are. Who are you? Please. I'm going to hang up now, okay? No! Phone hanging up. No! Disconnect tone. One more. <laughs> you dial the number again, as you've done many times. Calling, 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 and calling for who knows how long. But no one answers. Oh no, this You'd is need to hurt. insert more money to call again. We don't need to have a meltdown, but we could.
Oh, that that was therapeutic. And we, we wear armor, so... The cold metal is hard, and your knuckles bleed. Oh, our knuckles bleed through the armor. Takes your mind away from that voice, for one second at least. That's enough now, officer. Wait, we're gonna break it. It didn't give you any fun for that money. Your hand is swelling up. Officer, that's enough. Let's return to work. I'm sorry, Kim. That's right. Walk away. It's over. I'm gonna guess that was her. The one that we think about a lot. Blood drips from your knuckles to the sand. Drip, drip, drip. I'm sorry, Kim. I have to make the worst decisions at all times. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, sorry. I missed some chat there. Yeah, you were like, are you phoning the invisible birds? I wondered... <laughs> I wondered if you were right for a second there. <laughs> it's like they are sounds after all, right? Surely we can form them. Okay, I mean, we've got plenty of morale to refill that. Was that the thing, Fede? Fede? Fed, Fed. I keep calling you Fede, and you never said to call you Fede. <laughs> but that's how it started coming out now. I'm gonna head back, and if that wasn't the thing, let me know. That's the only thing I can think of that I'd interacted with. That had more potentially to do. <laughs> Speak now or forever hold your peace. That was the thing. Thank you for that. I feel like that could have gone a lot better. <laughs> That's my bad. I feel like that's her. It's got to have been her. Okay. Oh, no, we need to talk to her. Be careful out there. Sees calm as death, but still... That won't be a problem. It's wind still and please be conservative. Right, we're not going to talk to her about our concerns about parenting. The skiff with a small steering engine in the back floats on the calm mirror of the sea. Its two seats are empty. It was a, yeah, it was a good secret clue. Yeah, to find it, that was good. You caught on much faster than you realized what the possibilities were. I was like, because I, I do remember before we said that we were going to do more phone calls and then I didn't. Um, I got too into other things. But I think we're fine with our money and everything now. Uh, right. Once you get in, that's it. One pull of the starter handle and you're off into the bay. A strange trepidation comes over you. Are you sure you want to go now? Here's the warning again. Point of no return. Did we go to the island? Is just what we're going to do. Yep. Goodbye. Whatever this island's called. Have you made all the necessary preparations? Closed all your accounts? Closed all your accounts? I'm not gonna die, am I? Remember what the net picker said. It's a small tank. You won't be going back and forth on this. You take the engine, Kim. I'll hold the boom box. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, what? How else do we blast Sad FM on our way to the island? Fine. Let's blast Sad FM then. Yeah. So disco. 
Sad <laughs> FM is a radio station specializing in sad, slow rock songs. You seem to know its frequency by heart. Cool. Right, let's ride. Let's go! <laughs> wow, this is me and you, Crafty. <laughs> See if thieves in it. Okay, let's chill. Why is it crackling? Church. The church is bigger than I thought. Maybe it's our boom box, yeah, maybe. This journey is doomed. over there oh my god I don't think that's intentional at all slow stop. The lieutenant turns the engine off. Then, there's silence. Audio bug. Never seen that before. Damn it. I'm really sorry about that. I would have understood if it, if it was if I was maybe recording from my capture card. But I don't understand why that's happened there. Um, That was cool. I like that. I'm gonna listen to that again. Had piano in it. Maybe I'll learn it. <laughs> Um, also no crafty, I think you were Harry there, because although I know you were driving the rowing board, I have so many pictures of you discoing at the front of it. <laughs> okay. We're here, and I'm nervous. In the silence, a sputter of wings. A flock of quails takes off in the distance. Let's go. He whispers. You are everyone and I am neither. <laughs> okay, we, we made it. Is this the other side of that chain? I'm nervous. The rusted chain trails off into the ocean. 
The chain trails off into the ocean, connecting the island to the supply depot on the coast. This leads to the depot in Land's End. Ah, yes, so it seems. Giraffe, hello! How are you doing? Watch your bells. What bells? <laughs> oh dear. Right, what do you think it was used for? Oh, today's a day of whoosh. It's whoosh day. For bringing munitions to the island, maybe? And supplies? You could also lock the bay when you raise the chain. Yeah, we had this conversation before about that. As a defensive measure, lock it off that side of the bay. Yeah, because I think it's really clever. Basically like clothesline and the uh, ships. Lock it from whom? From enemies. Enemies of the commune of Revachol. This sea fort was a revolutionary fortification, I believe. So this is the sea fort. Makeshift bridge. The bombs were powerful enough to break the foundation. I'm nervous. So we can go all. In fact, yeah, let's go. No. These tires are falling apart. They're at least 50 years old. So I guess we're just. We're looking around to see if we can find any signs of a sniper. I wonder if Clazia knew if she could just put together where the shot came from on the night or if she, if she knows who it was and why and where. Attention, inflammable. Wouldn't that mean that it's not flammable? Some fuel has leaked out of the barrel. Black, viscous. That's gone right into the ocean, right? That's probably why the man yelled at them for setting a fire. Because there's fuels about. Fuels? The dry grass crackles under your feet as you stop. Far away, birds' wings touch the still surface of the sea. What is that floor? The flock of quail departs. Now more than a hundred meters away. A hundred and two. A hundred and five. Underneath the floor? On the islet, there is almost no wind under the rain quietly falling on the reeds. Bulrushes swaying on the waterline. Long dried leaves chafing against each other the soft raindrops oh giraffe i am one happy giraffe today so i have some of my giraffe covered bits <laughs> also testing the sounds i i did try and explain before that i am having a struggle with the alert <laughs> i love my giraffe covered bits thank you <laughs> I appreciate them very much. <laughs> oh god, thank you, Giraffe. I promise once I get it sorted, I'm gonna replay all of your bit notifications so that you can hear it. <laughs> oh, thank you though. I'm very glad you're a happy giraffe. That is good to hear. Hope you're having a good whoosh day. <laughs> um Okay, okay, where am I at? Thank you, Giraffe, very much. <laughs> you got the quote in the ad backwards, Giraffe. Giraffe? You're no longer Giraffe, you're just Giraffe. <laughs> okay, okay. Um. <laughs> giraffe Snaff, yeah. <laughs> the name evolves. <laughs> Okay. Like a silent orchestra tuning at the beginning of some major work. Yeah, Noom doesn't have time to say whole names. So busy detectiving. Everyone is just a fraction of their real name. 
<laughs> in half a year you'll just be juice <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I love it. Um of great importance to the few who attend. A silent hiss. See air moving through the needles of a pine tree. The faraway roar of the city, distant like today's dream. Before it, the sound of sand. The low tide filtered through its grains. A bird tending to its feathers. This is like a mini version of when we left the whirlwind for the first time. And we were like, sensing everything all around us. Raindrops fall on water, strangely quiet, forming circles in the distance. A low hum. The air slowly moves through a concrete box, through its ancient slits and cracks, resonating, hollow, a big building. This building? Further north. Air flows out of a pillbox window. There is very little there. The air cossacks flowers on the meadow. Absolute silence. Reeds motionless. Bulrushes motionless. A drop of rain falls on a black log of an extinguished campfire. Like here? Is this the person we're looking for? Below the silence? Call the Mama Dakwa. <laughs> yes. Okay, Kim. Yes. This is where a lesser man would stop to think about the pain shooting up his right leg and into his groin. Not you. You're concentrated on how. It's pretty silent on this island. It is. Is that why we are stopping? I have to listen to one more thing. The lieutenant nods in silence. See, everything's silent. Maybe there's a another pale sauce here. Okay. What is this? Okay. This barrel says ICM. Start with little specks in it. ICM. I've forgotten what that means. Okay, we've got like doors left, right, and center. Little birch from the coin operated viewer still holding on. No way to get up there. The stairs are gone. Right, so I guess we've got to come through here. It looks like there's a door down there and there's a door up there. 